What's up YouTube and Unreal Developers? Uh, in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Charts Pro Radial Dial and then I'll show you uh, just kind of some of the properties you can change on here. There's really not much of anything to actually using it. You're pretty much just going to display the chart and then you're going to call update value. So I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, so yeah, first off I've uh, created this handy UI for selecting the needle. So uh, as you can see here you can toggle the center cap on and off. Uh, and then I've got quite a few options here that I've created in Illustrator. Uh, mostly pretty simple ones, but they get the job done, I do believe. Uh, we've got some weapons here. We've got a moon with hollow and filled. Uh, we got these diamonds plus some offset ones. Uh, we got that familiar Deathly Hallow symbol there. Some just kind of random glyphs that I thought looked kind of nice. Uh, standard rectangular ones. Uh, we got sun and moon, various compasses. Uh, we got these perimeter circles that I made that just kind of uh, fall along the edge there. <coughs> And we also have a bunch of just common words you might find in a game. So you got ammo and health and energy. You got five different fonts of these. Um, say if you wanted to set your volume with the dial, then you could use this one right here. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, quite a lot of options for the needle. Now let's actually take a look at some of the properties here. So yeah, here is the border thickness. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be just a percentage between zero and one. So as you can see, if I go to one totally filled otherwise it's not so filled uh, you can also set how much of a circle it should be so if you want a full dial there you go 360 degrees if you don't want that much there you go and you can also rotate it as you wish so pretty handy there uh, these are what those buttons are connected to in the test UI there this is uh, you're gonna be your needle brush so change that right here as well uh, pretty self-explanatory needle color, border color. So the minimum and maximum value, uh, the axis markers obviously get added. Uh, they automatically interpolate between those values. So if you wanted this to say be a really super fast car, let's crank this up to 320. It's going to interpolate nicely. And if we wanted twice as many markers, let's let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Granted, that doesn't look as good because it's pretty cramped, so let's take this back to 252. Uh, this label here, obviously that, that binding doesn't actually show up until a play, but yeah. And you can also stop the needles uh, if you... Okay, sorry. You have to actually compile it to get the needle to stop, so that's good to know. Um, I didn't realize that until just now. So yeah, if you see this and it's not stopping, just, just compile and it will stop. But anyway, uh, moving on, we have this uh, center cap brush here, so uh, use what you, what you, whatever you will for that. I did not include anything beyond just the basic circle for the center cap, it's just a whole bunch of needles. Uh, but of course you can add a tint to it to color it at least, or you can just change the center cap color right here. And... Uh, Here's your fonts for center label and the markers. Let's not make it that big or that small. Yeah, you get the idea. Pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Uh, as I was saying, there's only really one function you need to know about. Everything else is internal use only pretty much. Uh, so yeah, you just have to call update current value. That's it. Just play the chart and uh, set it to your initial starting position and then whenever you need to update the position just call update current value. Simple as that, nothing to it. Uh, anyway, I hope you all do enjoy this tool. Uh, if you like this video or this tool please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel so I can keep on making great tools for everybody. Uh, thanks so much and have a great day.